Welcome to the MiG-29. The NATO code name for this Russian fighter jet is Fulcrum. Let's get this beast started. Before we do, a note on key pressing technique. Many of the commands require two keys. Always press and hold down the first key mentioned before pressing the second. Turn on the electrical power by pressing right shift and L. Turn on the cockpit lights by pressing L. Press the spacebar to continue. With the electrical power now engaged, you can see that the head-up display or HUD comes to life. Now that we have power, you can turn on the nav lights by pressing right control and L. If you're going on a combat mission, leave them off. Press the spacebar to continue. If you have an annoying beep, it's the RWR or radar warning receiver. Turn down the volume by pressing right, alt and comma. Next, let's close the canopy by pressing left control and C. Press the spacebar to continue. We're now going to start the left or number one engine. Highlighted are the warning panel and the RPM gauge. Press right, alt and home. That's right, alt and home. You will notice the green ignition light illuminate on the warning panel. And after about 10 seconds, the number one left engine RPM registers on the RPM gauge. Once the green light goes out at around 40% engine RPM, ignition is complete. Press the spacebar. With the ignition light on the warning panel out, we can start the right or number two engine. Press right control and home. Note the ignition green light and note there will be a 10 second delay before the number two RPM needle registers. Press spacebar to continue. If the centre circle is lit, you have a problem with the gear. Now lower your slats and flaps to the takeoff position by pressing F. F will cycle the flaps up and down. You can check where they are by looking at the gauge. The indicator now has six flat slat lights shown as bars and three green lights. Put your taxi light on by pressing right alt and L. Press the space bar to continue. We're now ready to taxi. Be careful. Look down at the stick and press and hold W to engage the wheel brakes. You can see the brake lever move, like a handbrake. Release W and the wheel brakes are released. For taxiing in a moment, we will be using the number pad plus and minus keys. The page up and page down keys only use four settings. 70%, 90%, max dry and burner, so there's no finesse. We will be testing the brakes using number pad plus just once to get moving, then pressing W to stop the aircraft. OK. You've got that, we're ready to taxi. Press the spacebar. Now, tap number pad plus just once to get moving. On sensing for the Press and hold W to stop the aircraft. Controlling the throttle is obviously easier with a throttle rather than the keyboard. Now, repeat this process, but press W just to slow the aircraft down to walking speed. As you taxi, practice using small and smooth rudder corrections, Z and X, to keep you aligned on the centre of the taxiway. Maintain walking speed. At the intersection, take a right. At the fork here, hang a right.
OK, turn left here using the Z key and follow the taxiway parallel to the runway. Maintain walking speed and remember W is the wheel brake. As you taxi at walking speed, you can see just how cool you look in the MiG-29 by toggling between the external view and the internal view. Headphone users beware. Press F2 to go outside and F1 to return to the cockpit. Rotate and zoom your view using the number pad or mouse. Turn right here. Turn right onto the runway and line yourself up in the centre. Bring the aircraft to a halt using the wheel brake. When you are ready to take off, press spacebar. Zoom in a bit using the mouse wheel or star so you can read the green writing of the HUD clearly. You're now ready for takeoff. If you're still holding it, release the wheel brake. Bring the engines up to full power by pressing page up three times. Note you will get two green lights on the warning panel to show the burners are lit. Keep central down the runway using gentle inputs of Z and X. Your speed will register top left of the HUD when above 90. As soon as your speed exceeds 300, pull back on the stick and establish a steady climb. Once safely airborne, get the gear up by pressing the key claps up by pressing the If you have the capacity, glance down and watch the green light all go out. Congratulations! That concludes this lesson on starting up taxi and take off, Sato, in the MiG-29 Falcon. You can end the lesson now by pressing the escape key. You can also eject, bang out, by holding down left control and E three times. We'll just tour around a bit and try landing. Remember G will put the key back down, F the flaps, and B the air brake or speed brake. Whatever you decide, happy hunting. Pull up. 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 Pull up.